everybody, this is Shaggy and welcome back to more Super Dimension Neptunia vs Sega Hard Girls. In the last couple of videos I did a bunch of missions, so uh, maybe you skipped those, maybe you didn't. So if you did, you're a little bit more hardcore than I am. But uh, in this episode, we're finally going to take the fight to the time here once and for all. And while we can take the mission here to challenge the time here, um, this one only gets you the good ending. And um, I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm actually going to do that in the next video when I show off the other two endings and how you get to them. But to get the true ending, you actually need to speak to Sagami here, which is why I've kind of not uh, done anything here. Uh, as far as our party, our party is like this, it's level 23. We're more than capable of defeating this time here at this point. Um, I do think that maybe Dreamcast might uh, not take a hit, but. Uh, so that's case kind of why we have the uh, Saturn here as backup. I do need to change this to the actual power proper uh, thing that I kind of need. Let me break it. There we go. Let's go in the move. And uh, with that all out, out, all the way out, let's just uh, get on with us. You girls have rewritten critical events across the major eras of history. Yeah, I suppose we have. Take a look outside the library. Wow, it's so different. I remember when it looked like an empty wasteland that would put Mars to shame. If this much has changed just outside the library, I wonder how the rest of the world is doing. I'm not sure. We'll have to gather information on that soon. It was okay for us to do this much, right? Of course. I wasn't asking you. I wanted this to happen. That's right. This is what I came here for. Segami? Hey, Segami! Hello, Segami! Oh, uh, what? What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. You just took a little trip to La La Land. Uh, no way! Yeah, you were making a super zoned out face. Like this. See? Um, you're still a bike, Nep. I don't know what kind of face you're making. Hey, how's your memory doing? My memory? Oh, uh, it's... Still kind of hazy. Uh, haven't you been claiming that for too long now? I think the players might be getting bored of it. I'm not doing it on purpose, you know. Well, whatever. There's only one thing left to do. Yeah. We're taking that bastard down once and for all! And so... Instead of actually going to being forced into actually going to the time meter, we actually have to go there ourselves. So the Grand Asia one last time. And uh, maybe I can actually do the uh, the skip. Because otherwise I'm gonna have to go through a crawl space with saving me. I know if I've done the I've done the skip before, I've actually done it. It it was a lot easier to do with saving me. I actually got it a little bit more consistently with saving me to an extent. If you know, if you know what I mean. I was I was doing this a little bit when I was doing. I was going to do more missions than I did as a spiral up and actually go and do some of the. Um, actually get some of the items from Grand Atrium and I was basically doing that, I was basically doing that saving me and uh, I was actually getting the uh, skip a little bit more consistent. Unfortunately the game kept crashing so uh, for some reason so well, I'm not sure as to what what's going on. I think my camera angle is a little off. No, that's not right. I think the camera angle a little bit off. I think it has something to do with the camera angle as well. 
eventually what happens is that you see me and the camera start acting all weird. Let not like that place. And eventually you clip through. But it looks like, it looks like the game's having nothing to do with it today, so uh, I'm just gonna cut until I actually get this side out. Alright, I'll turn to where I get this one. I get the smallest screw left. Oh, come on. I can clip with the wall a little bit more. And with that, with that. Neat, that didn't actually take as long as I think it was doing. So, uh, yeah. Cuts out cuts the, all the climbing and stuff out of the way and such. I know I showed it like way back in episode 1, but uh, here it is again. And this is the other reason why this save point is here. It's always been here since like day one. And the other reason why it's here is because it's the last save point before the final boss. So, uh, yeah, let's go deal with the time it wants for all. Everyone, it's almost time. That monster, it's waiting just beyond this point. So this is the Time Eater. The sole reason our eras are being erased. The reason things have gotten so bad. Sure does look creepy. Yeah, but it also looks weaker than I thought it would. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's doing too well. Well, yeah, that's after I got through with it. I took back all the history it ate. Neppy? That's crazy! Oh, shut up, Nep. All you did was drive us around. This is gonna be super easy. Let's hurry and defeat this idiot. A group attack against an injured opponent. Not a bad idea. I know you're just making an observation, but that makes us sound lame. Don't let your guard down. It might be weak, but don't forget what it can do. Who knows what it's capable of, even the... Whoa! It moved! I guess we can't sneak up on it. You... bastards! How dare you! This is my history! This is what I have created! Don't flatter yourself. We restored it all. Thanks for nothing. I won't forgive you for what you've done to this world. I don't want your forgiveness. I want you dead. I want your existence erased from history. Your efforts mean nothing. I will once again create my own history with my bare hands. These things it's saying, they don't sound very good. I won't let you do that! This is a bad guy, right? So, it'll be okay if I transform and give him the punishment he deserves. Y yeah um, go for it, Flutie. If we let it stay alive, we don't know what it might do. We have to get rid of it. That's the plan. I'll need everyone's help to get this done. Groovy! Let's go for it, Iffy! Yeah, you're gonna die here, Time Eater. Return to eternal darkness, you bastard! Okay, so time here, we're finally gonna bully him for a change. He does still have some stats on him, but it's kinda like, yeah, nothing. He basically did about a third of Sagami's life there, and that's pretty much all he's gonna do. 
because we're basically just going to do what we normally do for bosses at this point. I'm making her a charge and then, uh... What should I do? I was going to say have, uh, Saturn use a... The attack up, but I'm going to let Dreamcast do it instead. Where is it? There we go, get one of those. Oh, that's Saturn doing it. It's Saturn's good using magical attacks instead. And just as I make sure, in case things go further on. I won't hold back. Headliner has arrived. So now it's seeing this turn, we just transform to Dreamcast. Time to transform. The latest hardware is no joke. Now's our chance. Quickly go through the time, and well, Dreamblade special. That's it, like I said, timing is not really uh, all that once you get late enough into the game. Charge and just having an attack up is just super busted, especially with uh, having saved me and then transforming into Dreamcast, which adds Dreamcast insane attack stats up. Insane, insane attack stats up. And yeah. Final boss, box in like one hit, and it's kind of like, I mean you could probably do all those strategies, but that's kind of like the best one, especially since uh, Timey Up was kind of doing like at least one third to save me. I, I think when I did this playtest before, um, the Timey Up attack Dreamcast instead and almost killed it. Right. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much. <laughs> it. Um, I don't really have very much else to say. So enjoy the tour and cutscenes, I guess. I'm strong. Level up. I'm going to get level. I did it. Did we do it? No, I don't think we did. It's really strong. Is this one of those bosses that doesn't die unless we have a special weapon? Yeah. Are they gonna make us fight it over and over without giving us any hints? It's not over yet. What? Oh, why won't it die? It's way more powerful than I thought it'd be. Can't we use the power of the latest hardware to defeat it? I wish I could do something about it, but I'm pretty outdated and... I think I'm the latest one here. I'm going to change everything, starting with this pitiful error. Hey, you guys, it looks like it's getting ready to start eating. What? What do we do? Stay calm, Nepgear. But I don't know what we should do either. I don't think fighting it more is going to get us any closer to winning. Damn it! Why isn't my attack working? What a way to go out. I thought we were finally going to create a peaceful history for everyone. Don't lose hope yet. Leave this to me. Sega me? This is my fight. I'm the only one who can destroy this thing. Besides, the whole reason we're in this situation is because I couldn't finish it off before. Sega me? What are you... There's no time to talk! If you have an ace up your sleeve, you better bring it out now. Just give me a second. I just got it back. This creature had probably eaten it. My memory, that is. Oh! Sagami is... She's shining. She looks heavenly. Oh, Sekami, you can transform too? You, you're alive. I thought I got rid of you. It was almost destroyed. But I was able to return like this, thanks to the Sega Hard Girls and the Goddesses. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'll make sure 
to destroy you this time. That's where you're mistaken. You are going to die here. I'm going to make sure of it. Wow. It's gone. It disappeared in an instant. If you had this kind of power, you probably should have been using it from the get-go. It's thanks to your help too, though. You weakened him greatly. The truth is, my past self let my guard down, and I was defeated. Ah, I understand. You understand? <sighs> what do you mean? Don't just keep it to yourself. Tell us, Mega Drive. She's a god. A god that created us. The Sega Hard Girls. Right? Huh? Sega me? Yes. And this whole ordeal happened because of my failure. Explain. Well, okay. It's a long story. My main role was to protect the history of this world from the Time Eater. This task was given to me so long ago, in a time long before mankind had even existed. I had spent thousands of years in battle with this monster to protect the world. The battle finally came to an end, and I destroyed that monster. Or, I thought I did. After I completed my mission, I wanted to bring joy into this world. The Sega Hard Girls were created to bring life and laughter to the tumultuous history of this world. However, you all know what happened. The history of man became one full of conflict and devastation. I needed to find a way to remedy this. After much thought, I came to this era to get help from this library, so that I could use its powers to fix the past. But just when I was getting close, the creature I thought I had destroyed attacked me. My guard was down completely. I didn't put up a good fight at all. That was when you lost your memory and, and met me? Yes. I'm so grateful that I met you too. All of you. I've asked so much of you all. Sega me. Thank you, Aya. The eras across time are full of peace and light now. And I have you to thank for that. Sega me, I appreciate the sentiment, but why are you talking like this now? It's not like you at all. Huh? You know I don't really care if you're a god or whatever. You're still you. Be yourself. You sound like a snob. <laughs> it's gross. Gross? Yeah, seriously. You're usually, you know, kind of a bitch. Are you freaking kidding me? Shut up, you ugly ass crap bike! Ah, there she is. Music to my ears. Yeah, that's way more like you. Welcome back, Sagami. Ah, you know, a god needs to be dignified. Please stop saying these things about me. It's way too late for that. What do you want, me and Nep to bow down and call you our lord and savior? <laughs> no, that's stupid. Then what? Chill out, you crybaby. Fine, whatever. Sorry I even brought it up, okay? Does our god always act like this? She seems pretty approachable. Well, I for one think it's charming. Maybe she's just been in the human world for too long. She's probably picked up a few bad habits. Um, you all did wonderfully. You saved me, and you have my deepest gratitude. From now on, just don't get into any more useless fights, okay? I won't be able to help you anymore. Farewell. Farewell? Where are you going? I'm going... home. 
I'm a god. I can't stay here forever. What? Why didn't you let us know about this sooner? I have so many things to ask you. My memories have been slowly returning. I can't help it. I've been away from the other side for too long. Besides, I think my work here is finally done. Well, there's not much we can do about it, I suppose. That's right. Hmm. Oh, no sappy stuff. Don't say it! This is the best ending! Be happy! Come on, damn it! Hey, Segami? Oh, what? Um... Take care of yourself. Although, I guess I don't really need to say that to a god. <laughs> well, you take care of yourself too. I know I keep saying it, but... I truly am thankful for you. Oh, She's really affectionate, huh? Who would have guessed Stone Cold Segami has a heart of gold? Shut up. Before I pour water in your gas tank and slash your tires. Yikes! You wouldn't do that in front of everyone, <laughs> would you? <sighs> Whatever. I'm gonna go now. I hope I see you again. Someday. Sagami. Me too, IF. Someday. We should prepare to head back to our era soon. Yeah, it's about that time, huh? The history's starting to settle now, so we really can't stay much longer. I suppose it will be a little strange if all of you remain in this era, but it's bound to be lonely without you. I'll be lonely too. I wanted to play with little Histy some more. N no! Histy is not a toy! Thanks again for everything, Histy. You've really helped me out. The feeling's mutual. I won't even have to battle Dreamcast after I go back, so I really want to thank you, but... The person we really need to thank the most isn't here anymore. Ah, yes. Rest in peace, Segami. We hardly knew ye. Don't joke like that, Neptune. Sorry. Defense mechanism. I miss her, too. That bike with my soul in it isn't here anymore, either. You're right. Wow, the loud one is finally gone. I feel so relieved. Aya, oh, yeah. you don't have to say it like that. Oh, we all know she's not being honest with her feelings, anyway. Whoa! I'm disappearing! It's time. I'm sad we have to part ways now. I guess this is goodbye. Oh, I wanted to stay with everyone some more. Well, if anything happens, you'll know where... Uh, when to find me. Iffy, even if we're destined to go down different paths, we'll always be friends. If you ever get the chance, please come and visit our era again. We'll wait for you in the good history this time, okay? Later. We had a short time together, but it was fun while it lasted. Please, take care of this era, okay? They left. Yes, we finally arrived at a history that is full of peace. I don't know how to thank you or Segami for all you've done. No thanks needed. I wanted to help. She's the one who deserves all the credit here. Histoire, were you aware of Segami? I had started to pick up a few hints, but I was never positive. She hid it well. She was a little too ordinary to be a god. Yeah, she was hardly godlike. Then again, Nepo Plutia don't really strike me as goddess types either. Segami's from a different place than the goddesses. It makes sense she acts differently from them, you know. That's true. Well, Histy, if you see her around, be sure to give her my regards. Of course. Will you be leaving soon? Yeah, I've got a pretty strong urge to go and see what's out there.
It's in my adventurer's blood. I want to go explore this newly remodeled era as soon as I can. I see. Aya, please be careful out there. If you're ever in the area, please come visit. Of course. Make sure to watch over these histories. All right, Histy? I don't want to have to do this all over again. All right, my old friend. Looks like it's just you and me again. Let's hit the road. Ugh, not again. It's been acting like this ever since we left. It's all because Nep was so rough with it. I told her so many times to be careful. Ugh. I guess mumbling to myself won't get me anywhere. I'll have to make a temporary repair. I'll be giving it a complete overhaul soon, so I can bear to be a little rough with it. Ouch! 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 Uh, what the? Iffy, that is so messed up. Why would you hit me there of all places? S sorry! Huh? Nap! What the hell are you doing here? What do you mean? This is obviously the universe playing a trick on you. <laughs> a trick? You idiot. The word you're looking for is miracle, not trick. Segami! You're here too? Hey, uh, long time no see. Uh, it hasn't even been that long. What are you doing here? I thought you went back to being a god. And didn't Nep leave, too? Well, I was thinking I'd like to go back and tweak history a little bit more. You mean... It seems like Segami still wants to keep this adventure thing going. She must be pretty bored. Well, well I don't need to go do it with you two. I'm sure I can find others to help me. It's just not fair. I'm the one who brought peace to the history of the world. Why can't I enjoy it? So, I suppose I should hang out with you for a little while longer. But what about your godly duties? Oh, I can leave those be for a little while. My perception of time is far different from yours. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? Is there a problem? <laughs> don't, don't laugh at me! Sorry, I mean... <laughs> of course I have a problem with it. Oh, the irony. I finally thought I'd be able to return to my nomadic way of living, carefree and alone. Oh, can it, Iffy? You know you are lonely. You were talking to yourself all the time. What? Were you eavesdropping on me? <laughs> the walls have ears. This bike has neck. It was inevitable. But how does that even make sense? When we get to town, I'm reassembling your engine. So you better be ready. Wait, what? I'm sorry. We should start heading out now. There's a town nearby that's worth checking out. Let's go.